Well, it's a move that near Madison Kip says that some near Madison Kip say is a little too late. But the large, longtime manufacturer is hoping some taller smokestacks will cap a long-running controversy. Linda Eggert joins us now with the latest twist on this East Side pollution dispute. Pam and Mark, Madison Kip has received a preliminary approval to again hike its pollution limits. To get that tip today, a kip today had to bring in a crane, but ongoing resident compliance is prompting one lawmaker to call for some unprecedented action. Madison Kip today brought in a 175 foot crane and some taller smokestacks. It's the latest move in Kip's effort to hike the cap on some of its pollution. By raising the stacks higher, it has less impact. Uh, supposedly on the neighborhood here, so it'll disperse it in a wider air area. Clearance from the county airport crews swung the new stacks into place. Two 100-foot high furnace smokestacks aren't changing, but five shorter smokestacks, four at the Atwood plant, are going up another 20 feet. Eight roof vents also will get sealed. KIPP needs to do it all to meet air quality requirements and get new higher pollution limits from the DNR. Under them, the foundry could double the amount of particulate or dust it emits and up its aluminum salts fivefold. But Kip says it's always put out far less than allowed and will continue to do so. When you look at our emission rates for what we do over the years, we're running anywhere between 20 to 30 percent of what we're allowed to do. But some in the dense east side neighborhood still aren't convinced everything's safe, and neither is a state lawmaker. I think there's another way to approach this issue, and I'm encouraging the department to give it a try. Representative Joe Parisi has just written a letter to the DNR secretary asking him to personally negotiate a solution to Kip's neighborhood complaints. I urge you to become fully engaged in the search for an innovative solution. A solution that he suggests ends the use of chlorine at the company altogether. If we can get the DNR to sit down at a, at a table with KIPP and try to hammer out an agreement that could result in the elimination of chlorine, we'd be addressing a, a big concern and a big point of conflict. KIPP says doing that would cost millions a year, but Parisi wants uh, it to outline the exact exact cost of eliminating chlorine with the DNR. On chlorine, Kip says he'd voluntarily cut way back on chlorine storage over the years and under the new limits isn't going to increase chlorine emissions, just gain more processing flexibility. The DNR tells News 3 that the secretary is taking Parisi's letter into consideration and is currently exploring ways in which the DNR can work with Kip. We'll see not what the, happens. Not the end of this story. Thanks, Linda. You bet.